Again, we knew structures were going to be lost. At least 14 of them have been impacted, many of them homes so far. Colloy News Now, Terry Russell spoke with one family who lived in Davis Creek Park and have now lost everything in just a matter of minutes. It felt like we had the whole entire park to ourselves when the public would go home for the day. District Park Manager Andy Brown talked to us from Little Washoe Lake, where the air attack was in full view. His home, located at the bottom of this mountain, was one of the first to go up in the Davis fire on Saturday afternoon. His whole family started receiving texts as they attended a family gathering in the North Valleys. They stopped us at the park entrance. By that time, the fire had already progressed to the point where it was unsafe for us to to go any further. A look at the park now, he describes it as a moonscape. His main concern, his three dogs and two cats. Two of the dogs made it, he's still looking for his two cats. He also worried about the guests in the park. Did they get out okay? He says the outpouring of support from the community has been overwhelming. Family is putting him, his wife and three daughters up until other arrangements can be made. With it all, he says, he feels lucky and wants the public to know he's not the only one who has lost so much. I just want to make sure that everyone else who is suffering, we may have been the first family affected, but they're, we're not the first, we're not the last ones. And, um, you know, there, there are going to be a lot more families like us. But working in local parks as long as he has, he says, it's not just those who have lost houses or acreage or animals in this fire who feel a sense of loss because all of us appreciate the beauty this region provides, and it is literally going up in smoke. You know, there's there's still a lot of the park that wasn't affected, so it'll, it'll look a lot different for a long time. I don't think it's uh, gonna be the same, you know, in our lifetimes. Brown says whatever is left of Davis Creek Park, he'd like to build upon it, and he knows there are others out there who feel the same. At Davis Creek Park, Terry Russell, Colloway News Now.